Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, just wanted to throw this up here real quick and uh, show you something that I've been working on. Um, probably be pretty useful to a lot of you for uh, your TikTok style apps and maybe some other things that you're doing with videos. Um, but I've been hammering away at this this code, trying to trying to get it done. Um, but anyway, so what I've done here with this code, there's no audio right now, um, so don't be surprised if you don't hear anything. Um, but there's several several things going on um, with this particular code. Uh, oops. Let's see if I can jump over here to it real quick. Uh, let's see. There it is. Um, so this is the code for that widget. Uh, it's a it's a pretty lengthy uh, code, as you can see. There's a lot going on in the back end here. Um, but what this is is doing uh, that that kind of sets it apart. Well, first of all, uh, I'm not I'm not using uh, any elements uh, aside from just like the page. Um, and the the nav bar, um, but I'm not using any any elements inside of, of Flutter Flow itself. This this widget is entirely uh, custom code. Um, so if you want to use it or or uh, want to play around with it, just be aware that um, any sort of custom logic that you want to implement uh, to suit your needs, um, you will have to. You will have to have some level of understanding uh, in in Flutter coding, um, and and some other other associated languages and whatnot. So, um, I, I I say that because I, I don't want to I don't want to put this code out there and some folks jump into it and and maybe get frustrated or confused and wonder why I didn't uh, give a heads up that this this is entirely custom built and it's it's not something that you can just access inside of Flutterflow. But anyway, um, so what we've got going on here, first of all, this uh, full screen video widget. Um, I actually did not build this. Somebody else that's uh, on the uh, Discord server, uh, Technesis Discord server, um, and they, uh, they actually put this together. Uh, and I really appreciate that because I didn't have time uh, back back when this particular <laughs> object was was really needed. I didn't have time to to finish it out. I was busy doing some other things, and um, this individual kind of took it upon themselves to to get that that video widget taken care of. So I really do appreciate that. Um, I they they made it so that the the pause and mute buttons were over here on the right. I haven't changed any of that yet. I'm, I'm probably going to change quite a bit of the, the UI in here um, uh, for my own personal needs, but uh, I've been mainly focusing on the um, preloading capabilities as well as the multi-collection query uh, and the um, displaying of advertisements. So that's kind of what I've been focused on. Um, for the past couple of days dealing with this code. Uh, but in any case, so obviously you got a play pause button, you got a mute, unmute. Um, it is a, a swiping. And as you can see, it just jumped down. Um, let me restart that real quick. You have to bear with me. I'm, I'm extremely tired right now. I'm running on fumes. Um, Anyway, so what happens is the app loads up, this video automatically starts playing, and when the video starts playing, the next video in the index, which would be this one, um, so the second video, the next video in the index begins to preload. So if a video is playing for the user, then the next video in the list will, will start to preload that way. Um, it performs better as far as uh, delivery of content and whatnot, um, and that way you're not you're not having to preload a bunch of 
of videos all at one time, um, which can really slow down your users' devices as well as uh, hurt your bank account. You know, having to do a lot of uh, a lot of data transfer in such um, massive quantity all at the same time can really cause some problems for you in the long run. So this uh, virtually eliminates that problem by only essentially loading two videos. You've got the, the video that's visible, um, and then you've got the next video in line, which depending on how long the user stays on video A, video B may be completely done loading by the time they get there. Um, so that that's one benefit of this particular widget. And I want to go ahead and refresh this. I've, I've got the way that I have my timers set up right now, I've got it on a really short time span. I think I've got it set to like five seconds or something like that because I don't want to sit there and wait forever to be able to test uh, whether things are working. So things are kind of jumping around pretty quickly here. Doesn't make it really great for demonstration, but it's all right. Um, anyway, so all of these videos, these going through here, these are all, oops, uh -oh. Whoops. Um, these are all mainstream video, or uh, not mainstream, I'm like for main, main feed videos. Um, I really wish I had set that, that duration to something longer than a few seconds. Kind of drive me nuts. But anyway, these are all main feed videos. And after like five seconds or so, the uh, advertisement video jumps in here and you can see I can't swipe, but now I can swipe away from it. So I think I have that video set to like three seconds or five seconds to stay visible on the screen. Um, so the user can swipe through here and now there's the advertisement again. I can't, can't get off of it until this disappears. Once that disappears, then I can scroll away from it. Um, and you can, you can adjust the, the timing on all of this um, to force users to stay on advertisements longer, uh, to show advertisements for a longer period of time, um, and definitely you can set the duration between uh, when a new advertisement will pop up. Um, and once I'm totally finished with this code, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of that, so you can kind of dynamically set that information that way. Um, you can you can fill in uh, some higher level uh, logic as far as how your users are interacting with your app and whether you should be showing them more or less videos or more or less uh, advertisements. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what I've been working on right now. And there's, there's the advertisement again, can't get away from it. Um, obviously, I'm kind of getting some user data pulled in little profile pictures and stuff. If I didn't have to watch this, ouch, that hurt. If I didn't have to watch this advertisement every few seconds, then I could at least show you a profile picture so you can see a profile picture showing up down there. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm still, still working on it. Um, I was going to release this code today and make it available, or yesterday, I should say. Um, but I, I got sidetracked with some other stuff I had to take care of. So um, I want to, before I release it, I want to set the, the timers and, and everything to a more reasonable time frame. Uh, so you don't have to deal with this constant switching back and forth. Um, and I also, need to, I also need to comment out the code so that uh, you know what you're looking at when you go in there and... Um, want to set your own parameters uh, and specifically querying um, your main feed collection as well as your advertisement collection wherever you may have that stored because these are two two different collections that are being queried um, main feed and then advertisements so anyway that's um, that's pretty much it on this right now but uh, with any luck I will have all the just essential stuff done today and we'll be able to uh, drop this code later on today um, so that you can begin to play with it and use it. All right, that's it. Take care.